in the um, Centre Madeleine Falkenberg. It's an association for people who have physical problems. Here we have uh, 120 children aged 6 to 20 years old. They have uh, cerebral palsy for all of them. Here we have a classroom, we have education and rehabilitation. Tu as fini L'abîme pas doucement Et Je crois qu'elle allait me le, me le froisser The biggest problem that we have on certainly on UK construction sites one of the biggest causes of injuries is things like slips, trips and falls. Think about why you're working on site today. We've obviously got the forward and the mass. Okay. Obviously I've got a builder's hand, so they they used to manual labour, your hands may not be. Get away from the blade, and just push it back against there, that's all it needs to do. Get your packers in, push the centre in. When we visited the uh, Madeleine Fockenberg Centre earlier this year, and they decided that what would really benefit the centre would be uh, an area where the children could have um, a small mini farm. So what we're doing here now, we're building a deck area that has got three animal enclosures that run off from that but also it's got an area where the children can come on with the wheelchairs, the carers can bring the animals out to the children um, and the children can play and handle the animals uh, and socialise as part of their learning and development. How do you expect the mini farm will benefit the children? At first, it is relationship with nature, how to respect animals. All that it's a part of uh, our mission and it's a part of uh, the development of children who have no way to uh, go outside uh, alone and to discover the life alone. It's really about putting people in an unfamiliar circumstance. Unexpected events are going to happen. It might rain, it might snow, who knows. And it's to see also how teams react. We've put them artificially in silos and let's see when they actually realize that they have to break the silos to, pr to, to bring the project to, to completion. Because the roof is relatively small, they actually uh, put the whole planning session completely overtly, completely openly. Um, interesting, they spent an hour and 15 minutes on general management issues before they even start looking at the project plan. That said, I think everybody was motivated. <laughs> yes, the chicken coop has a lot of different parts and pieces. It's got a floor, it's got walls, doors, it has a sheet metal roof cut it at an angle. Uh, so it is a very complicated project that has a lot of materials that have to go into it. Yeah, and uh, we think it's a real challenge to finish on time. That's why we are a little bit stressful, even though we are excited as well. And that's why coordination will be key, because we know, we have already identified, that we need external resources. Uh, we spent hours, hours and hours of planning. We've got it aligned perfectly. Our teams are perfectly gelled. We've got a good base plan. Should be done by about 9, 9.30. Uh, but what we're really looking to do is improve on this base plan. We're, I see visions of a full-size petting farm. Um, we've got some plans for improvisation if we need. Any, any curveballs that come our way, uh, everything should go pretty smoothly. Okay. Hey, get the other one on then. Do the yeah. yeah, and uh, we'll get that. Uh, Hello! <laughs> Who is on the right side is the question. <laughs> From here, from there. I missed this one. <laughs> <laughs> Almost professional, eh? <laughs> So far we're a little behind schedule right now, 
and we've had to divide the teams a little differently. Uh, but we're still hoping to be on track. So we have 45 minutes till the deadline that we set for ourselves, an hour, uh, an hour and 15 till we're supposed to be done. Super, thanks so much. Ha <laughs> ha 